So hello and welcome to the video nap on and Twitter tips challenge on what is quite a varied uh, day's racing in the fact that usually you get all weather meetings in the winter that are sort of just propping up the jumps but this weekend we have um, some cracking action at Lingfield which is right in amongst the good stuff over the jumps at Kempton and Newcastle and Chepster. Uh, not, it's not really a standout fixture. Yes, Kempton have the best races, but you know they, they, the rest, the, the whole card is amazing. So that's why I've decided to do a bit of a special Twitter tips that challenge with uh, two meetings, sorry, two meetings, two races across four meetings, making obviously for eight races. More details on that later. More details on that underneath. I'll go into the video nap. It is in the Winter Derby at Lingfield and it's Battalion. Uh, as you'll see, I've written underneath. I think Mutakai will be hard to beat. You can't argue with his form. A group, a group two winner. Uh, his last two runs placed in Group One company. The Judmont and over in Canada behind Teppin. Um, you would worry slightly about the lack of a prep room and whether this will be sort of a prep run towards bigger things in the coming months uh, and in Battalion um, we have a horse who has won two of his last three uh, two of his last three for Jamie Osborne since changing from uh, William Haggis to Jamie Osborne won his first two of course this was very nicely the second of which very very nicely uh, was beaten only a length by Decorated Knight and Arab Spring. Last time out, they're smart horses in their own right. Neither of those two to contend with this time around. If Mutakaya is on his game, he wins. But if he's not, Battalion picks up the pieces. Battalion is definitely, in my opinion, the best of the, the, the ones facing him. And he will win, I think, if Mutakaya is not on his game. Um, the next best is River Wild in the Dovecot. Uh, I think Elgin and Capitan are quite closely matched, sort of in a way. I think and again, you'll see you'll see uh, further down that sort of. I, th I, I think neither of them will be top, quite top Group One level, as proven last time out in both their respective races, beaten by Feelings Oscar and Neon Wolf. Uh, Capitan with Feelings Oscar, Neon Wolf with Elgin. I'm not saying River Wild Group One class at all yet, but I just think they could. Just judging on how how Capitan and Elgin ran last time out, both of them, there could just be something in the field that could prove too good for the pair of them. And I'm hoping that this will be Elgin, a uh, horse who seems to be improving. He's won his last two nights at Ludlow. I would hope with further improvement, he would go close and hopefully give the two I've mentioned a run for their money despite them being a fair bit clear in the ratings. Um, for the Twitter tips to challenge, I say you've got something a bit different. Uh, four courses, two meet yeah, four courses, two races across each of them. Uh, there there is myself, McDoonan, Ethan Simlet, Sam Sports Mad and a new player, uh, Martin Aquavega. Uh, brilliant handle, brilliant Twitter handle. So I think it's his, yeah, I think it, yeah, it's his first go. I'm pretty sure of that. So us five, four guests for four courses. That might be ha might be a hashtag in that. Uh, look sure to be a good day's racing and a good Twitter tip Twitter tips that challenge. I hope. Just mentioning Sam. I've mentioned it in the blog, but be sure to listen to the. Monday night review where yours truly made his debut on Monday just gone. Uh, have a listen of it. Tell me what you think about what I've said. Give it a retweet. Get involved. Answer the questions. Be sure to tune in to Monday's coming up. Whether I'll be on it, I'm not sure. But listen to it anyway because it's a cracking podcast with cracking people. And I suggest you listen to it. But anyway, back to today back to Saturday's racing best of luck with whatever you're backing I hope you have a good day and goodbye